Holyoke was one of those cartoons that you watched as a kid and didn't know what the hell was going on, but thought it was the coolest thing in the world. When I was about 10 years old, Tsunami said his final farewell to his afternoon block and proceeded to air on late Saturdays. I remember coming home from school and turning on the TV. It was about 5 p.m. and seeing this new thing called Maguzi. I was like, what the hell is this? It was some submarine underwater type S setting with a 13 year old girl as the host. And literally, I was just like, where's Tom? Like, I. I was shocked. I was like, where's Tom? Where's Tanami? I, I came home. I didn't expect Tanami to stop airing. And Tanami started airing on Saturdays where it shows things like Make Us XLR, Yu Haku Show, I think so. They had Riona Kenshin. I remember Riona Kenshin used to be on there a lot. And it had a, all these different types of animes now. It had uh, Naruto. They started airing Naruto. So it had all these type of different animes now, you know, besides Dragon Ball Z because they moved away from Dragon Ball Z because Dragon Ball Z, you know, finished airing. It finished airing the Boo Saga. I think this was down uh, a year ago because Maguzi started in 2004. So anyways, it started off and Maguzi, I was just like, what the hell is Maguzi? And like, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect from this. But then I remember thinking about what cartoons they're, that they're going to show. You know, this thing aired at 5 o'clock. It took over the Tsunami block. And I thought it was gonna show like more anime or something like that. But anyways, this girl used to throw the host. The, this girl used to throw like the a, a DVD or some shit like that across the TV screen. That she used to hit your TV screen. And the screen used to turn black, right? As soon as the shit began, there was this one cartoon that really stood out to me, and it was Koli Yoko. Man, Koli Yoko. <laughs> and then you start, you you watch and you hear the steam. You're like, dun, 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 dun. I'm probably saying that wrong, but anyway, I remember watching it and I think it was low-key an anime because I, the animation was really good. Besides the foreheads, because, you know, that now we think about the foreheads, but back then when you were a kid, you didn't care about the foreheads, you didn't care about the animation, you just thought it was a cool thing. Anyways, we can complain about that. We didn't, like I said, we didn't complain about that as kids. I thought it was cool as fuck. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I thought it, was, it had a pretty basic story. It followed a group of teenage kids called Ah, Jeremy, Yumi, and Eric. They had to stop this crazy supercomputer that's called Xana by being virtualized into the world called Lyoko. Alita, who's stuck in Lyoko, she's the one who must deactivate the towers. It will stop every attack that's going on in Lyoko, and it will stop the attacks going on in the real world. This thing was mad unique to me because if you look at the, the transitions between the 3D world and the animation world, it was like the coolest thing in the world back then. I thought it was like, it was mind blowing. Like you never seen any cartoon that did this type of thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Like it transitioned from the 3D world and transitioned from like the 2D world, which is the animation. You know, the animation crew, Props to you because back then that was something that there hasn't been accomplished yet. You know, you had a couple of cartoons like you had Reboot and you had Johnny Quest Adventures, I believe that's what it was called, that used to air on Tsunami. It was nothing like this one. Those things used to look really goofy and Kodioko looked perfectly. It looked like a perfect video game. It literally looked like a video game. Like it looked like you were watching TV and you were watching somebody play a video game, like a 3DS video game. And it was like the coolest thing in the world back then. You know, as a kid, you were like, what the hell? This shit is this shit is so cool. But anyways, like the Transitions between the Yoko and the animation was really cool. They did it perfectly. I, I think they hit it right in the point pinpoint. You know, as a kid, I was astonished and it made me want to watch it even more. But anyway, it took over the block of Tanami and it used to come on Monday through Friday. So every time I used to come out of school, I used to, you know, eat my food, eat my thing. And I lived in New York City. So, you know, I used to, I used to go to school across the street. I used to come out of school and I used to watch Tanami every other day. You know, I used to watch Tanami every day, Monday through Friday. And it used to be, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z and all the cool anime. You already know, like Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon. You know, I remember used to get like big O, giant robot wig. They used to give all these cool things, you know. Know, so and then for them to like change it from Maguzi, I was just like, what the hell is this? I remember talking to my brother and my brother was just like, I do not want to watch this anymore. Please do not look at me. Like I I I generally do not want to watch Cartoon Network anymore after this. But then we just, you know, it, it was cool. The transition was cool. I thought it was cool. The Maguzi block didn't really give that many good cartoons besides Kolioko. Kolioko was the one that really stood out. Everything else did not stood out as the way Kolioko did because Kolioko was something new, something like that broke the barriers back then as in the cartoon universe. You know what I'm trying to say? But to me personally, it really, it really like I me personally i still think that this cartoon is really good like the storyline is really good even though it was it felt like pokemon at the time like pokemon used to have his little deja vu where it would go like team rocket every day team rocket this team rocket that like every day will be the same thing like you're training 
you're losing you're this team rocket comes out blasting off again team rocket comes out blasting off again it's just like pokemon but in this case cole Yoko was more of like return to the past now jeremy would take his supercomputer and be like return to the past now return to the past now every single episode had that return to the past now like some crazy shit would happen on the real world like say like your ps5 <laughs> Like this is just for instance like your ps5 will start moving and like electrocuting your leg And like it will be some crazy stories like the crazy shit that happened in the real world That would happen to like random students like it would happen to like random students But it would mostly happen to like the you know odd Yumi and all the people who are you know connected to Lyoko So the story gets crazier even later down the line You know they, they introduce this character called William and they introduce um in on um, they introduce Alita into the real world So now she is a real uh, character now she is a uh, transition onto the real world and she is a real character so they get her out of the you know they get her out of lyoko but she can still transition into lyoko she can still be virtualized into lyoko so that was the cool thing about it that they took her out and then they introduced her as a character into the real world obviously jeremy has some type of thing with um alita so it was perfect for them to start their little love story or whatever you know that was going on between them but you know everybody was doubting um everybody was doubting jeremy because they were like yo how are you gonna <laughs> How are you gonna be in love with this little virtual girl, you know, like this and that, but like she actually had feelings and then you find out later on that she has a father who started Lyoko and everything. So that's the thing about that. And later down the line, one of my favorite episodes of this cartoon was when they go back in time, like this is when they go back in time, they find out how everybody got introduced to each other and everything. That's one of my favorite episodes of this cartoon. Like this cartoon, it ended, I don't think it ended in Maguzi. I was really sad because I was like, I did not want the show to stop airing. And I remember they made a real life version, which never aired on TV in America, but it aired in France. So that's the thing about that. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that the show was like something, this, this show impacted you as a kid. Did you think the show was stupid as a kid? Like, let me know your thoughts about the show. I'm gonna make, probably, if you like this video, I'm I'm gonna make more videos about like my history with cartoons and my history with this and that but this is gonna be strictly a video game channel mostly but I just wanted to make a video about this because I thought it was something that came out of my head I'm just trying to put out videos out there so let me know please like and subscribe to my videos comment like the news persona video persona 5 strikers please do I appreciate it thank you for all the likes thank you for all the comments thank you for all the feedback thank you for all the views I appreciate it let me know what you think let me know if you like Holyoko and I'll see y'all later thank you my name is Sam Maddox